Hi everyone. Welcome to That's English. Hello again. Why is there a drill on the table? Oh, I've just been to the DIY shop to get it. My old one broke last week. I didn't know you were into DIY. Oh yes, I like doing simple jobs around the house. Not plumbing or anything complicated, just putting up shelves, that kind of thing. There's no point paying someone if you can do it yourself. Well, in today's episode, Danny and Karen have a problem with a leaking sink and have to call Mr. Riley, the landlord, the owner of the house. Why doesn't Mr. Riley want to call a plumber to mend the pipe in the bathroom? Hi. I've been shopping. I'm having the rest delivered later. The supermarket started a delivery service. Oh, that reminds me. The bathroom sink was leaking this morning. There must be something wrong with the pipes. When I turned the tap on, water dripped onto the floor. Yes, I know. I called Mr Riley, the landlord. He's up there now. Oh dear. He's always saying he's going to do things. Oh! See what I mean? I've just had my nails done. Danny, could you bring the toolbox up? Coming! Does it look serious? I'm not sure yet. This pipe wasn't connected properly before it was sealed. There must be something missing. Oh no. It'll have to be taken apart. A new pipe will have to be installed and then sealed correctly. Shouldn't we get it mended by a real plumber? A real plumber? I can do it myself. <sighs> yes, Mr Riley. Mr. Riley's got a bit wet. <laughs> Do you remember when the washing machine broke down and he said he was going to get it repaired? Yes. He never got it done, then he tried to do it himself. He keeps promising to replace the mattress on my bed. Mm. Oh, I'm off to the DIY shop. I'll fix it myself, just like I fix your vacuum cleaner. Yes. First time I switched it on, I... I got covered in dust. <laughs> oh, he promised to have that fixed weeks ago. Now, is this attached to something else before it's fixed to the main pipe? Can I give you a hand, sir? I've got a leaking sink. I think you'll find that this pipe is inserted in here first, and then this is tightened to keep the pipes together. And then what? It's all connected to the main pipe in the wall, and after that, it needs to be properly sealed. You'll need this. Ah. You know, it's great when people know what they're talking about. I hate it when they don't know anything about what they're selling. <laughs> Thank you very much. For pleasure. Must be a spare part. I don't think much of Mr. Riley's DIY skills. No. If you don't know what you're doing, you can often make things worse. I know from experience. Did you get the answer to the question? Why doesn't Mr. Riley want to call a plumber to mend the pipe in the bathroom? Shouldn't we get it mended by a real plumber? A real plumber? I can do it myself. So, he doesn't want to call a plumber because he thinks he can mend it himself. Or maybe he just doesn't want to pay for a plumber. <laughs> Did you notice how people talked about getting things done? When we refer to an action or a service that somebody does for us, we use the verb get or have, plus a noun, plus the past participle of the action. Hi. I've been shopping. I'm having the rest delivered later. 
See what I mean? I've just had my nails done. Do you remember when the washing machine broke down and he said he was going to get it repaired? Yes. He never got it done, then he tried to do it himself. Samantha, I'm going to have my bedroom painted next week. Well, why don't you paint it yourself? But I really haven't got time. Well, I need to get my washing machine mended. It's making a funny noise. Well, why don't you mend it yourself? <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> now, let's watch the second part of the episode and see if Mr Riley's managed to repair the leak under the sink. As you watch, answer this question. Why does Karen think Danny is optimistic? Oh. Oh, no. Danny! The bathroom's flooded again. <sighs> Alright, this time I'm getting it fixed properly. I'm calling a plumber. You won't get a plumber on a Sunday. We'll have to call an emergency plumbing service. Oh eight hundred. 800 123 It's an automatic answering service. I hate it when you have to listen to all the options. One. I pressed one. What? It keeps repeating the same message. Just a minute. It's an automatic answering machine. It won't wait for you. What's our postal code? NW61PF. NW61PF. Whenever I say something, it asks me to repeat it. Oh, give it to me. NW61PF. Good morning. We need a plumber. It's a leak under the bathroom sink. Yes. He'll be here within the hour. This has been repaired recently, hasn't it? Mm. Not a very good job. Mm. Our landlord kept insisting it wasn't a big problem, then he uh, fixed it himself. First, all these pipes have to be taken out. Then they have to be replaced. Someone has bent this to make it fit. I hate it when they do that. It has to be done. OK, go ahead. Well, that was £250 down the drain. <laughs> I know. Why don't we go out and spend some more? Let's go out for a meal. Good idea. That was a generous tip you left. £10. But the service was excellent, and it wasn't included in the bill. I was a waitress once. People really like it when you show your appreciation. I suppose you're right. Oh, come on, we can get the next bus if we hurry. The bus? Hey, we've spent so much today already, why don't we splash out on a taxi? But you're always complaining that you spend too much on taxis. Don't worry, Mr Riley will give us the money for the plumber, won't he? <laughs> Danny, I love it when you're so optimistic. What do you mean? He keeps promising to pay us for the roof we had repaired a year ago. Let's, Let's get, the, get bus. the bus. That was an expensive day for Danny and Karen. £250 on an emergency plumber. Yes, it always costs more on a Sunday. And then Karen left a £10 tip in the restaurant. That was generous, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Did you get the answer to the question? Why does Karen think Danny is optimistic? Don't worry, Mr Riley will give us the money for the plumber, won't he? So. She thinks Danny's optimistic because he thinks that Mr Riley, the landlord, will give them the money for the plumber. Well, he should do. Landlords are supposed to pay for repairs. In the video, we heard people praising and complaining. People really like it when you show your appreciation. Danny, I love it when you're so optimistic. <sighs> it's an automatic answering service. 
I hate it when you have to listen to all the options. We can use expressions like, I love it, or I like it when, to say something nice about someone or something, or praise them. I love it when my grandma cooks me Sunday lunch. And we use, I hate it when, to say something bad or complain about someone or something. And I hate it when my neighbour's dog starts barking in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, now it's time for our street interviews. We wanted to find out whether people complain when they're not happy with a service. We asked them, have you ever complained about services in public places, restaurants and hotels? What happened? No, I haven't complained, but I think I should start sometimes. <laughs> because there are some places I'm really not comfortable with the service wine and the food. Uh, restaurants, occasionally, if food isn't cooked well or if there's a hair or something in it, then I'll complain. But um, generally, no, I, I tend to just smile. Uh, there was an occasion when I was at a restaurant uh, to wait half an hour for uh, my hot chocolate to be delivered uh, at the end of the meal. Uh, purely because they'd run out of milk and during that time one of the waitresses was walking down the road to, to a local store to get some milk for, for my hot chocolate. Uh, but having anticipated that since the time I ordered, um, it was quite frustrating so I did lodge a complaint and they offered me the hot chocolate for free. Yes, absolutely. Uh, mainly in restaurants, I think if you're unhappy with the service, don't sit there and moan about it to yourself or to your wife, say something. They appreciate it. If there's something that they can do better the next time, then tell them. No, they're not going to know otherwise. I'm always complaining about <laughs> services and public places. Um, I think if you don't tell them, they won't know. I complained to McDonald's saying that my um, bread was stale and I got a free meal. Yeah, regularly. Yeah, because I look forward to things, I, you know, I spend my money, I work hard for it, and if, I'm not a particularly moany person, but if, you know, things are wrong, I do like to point it out and be reasonable about it, but yes. A lot of people mentioned that they'd complained in restaurants about the service or about the food. Yes, I agree with the speaker, who said that if you don't complain, then they won't know that anything is wrong. And it's true that a lot of places appreciate it when you tell them things aren't right. And sometimes they compensate you with a free meal or a free night in a hotel. You're right. But some people just moan about everything, but never actually do anything about it. Hmm, you mean like I do about my neighbour? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. Thank you.